the greatest enemies of the Constitution of the United States of America are not to be found in the sands of some far off land, but rather right here at home. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Ron Paul, I am the champion of the Constitution. I am an advocate, a very strong advocate, of following very strictly the rule of law, the Constitution of the United States. We have allowed our nation to be overtaxed and overregulated and overrun by bureaucrats. The founders would be ashamed of us for what we're putting up with. The Constitution was written very precisely to restrain the power and force of government and to protect the liberties of each and every one of us. Who will stand with us? Our campaign is all about freedom, prosperity, and peace. Who will stand with us? There's nothing wrong with what the founders talked about. They talked about having friendships and trading, getting along with people, and staying out of the entangling alliance and the internal affairs of foreign nations when it's none of our business. We've lost over 5,000 Americans over there in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and, and plus the civilians killed. How many more do you want to lose? How long are you going to be there? How long, what do we have to pay to save face? That's all we're doing is saving face. We're building up this case like, just like we did in Iraq. Build up the war propaganda. There was no Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And they had nuclear weapons and we had to go in. I'm sure you supported that war as well. Okay. It's time we quit this. It's time, it's trillions of dollars we're spending on these wars. Illegal, unconstitutional, and immoral war. No more. Who will stand with us? We're not talking about 10,000. We're not talking about 100,000. We're talking about many American and millions of people in this country and around the world who have heard this message. And it's growing. And it seems like even if they try, they can't stop us. Ideas spread. They can't stop them. An idea whose time has come cannot be stopped by any army or any government.